The Seven Lions mythos, I think, started to develop when we were trying to figure out ways to represent the world visually through like music videos and artwork. I kind of realized you can tell a story in a non-linear way and kind of use a story as an outline for expressing art. He has so much amazing imagination and storytelling abilities, and not in the traditional sense. The most special thing about Jeff's music is the environment that he creates. I mean, when you're listening to a track, a lot of them do have a very gradual buildup. It's because he's telling a story. You're going through a journey with him. Um, it's just not straight to the point of the drop. The composition, the branding, the art design, that had depth that I hadn't seen before. It was much more rich to dive into the Seven Lions universe. Everything that, that we put out, there is an intention behind it. Letter forms, to colors, to characters, to abstract visuals. It all has, has a reason for being. You don't need to be like, this is the story that's happening. But if you create a story and you use that to guide your artistic choices, you know, whether it's what you want to make this artwork about, or if it's what you want this music video to be about, or if it's what your visuals in your show are about, it ends up creating a really cohesive piece of art. If you imagine the initial ideas of Seven Lions being a seed, we planted that seed and now in some ways Seven Lions, even beyond Jeff, it's taken on a life of its own. What the fans are creating in their own heads and their own experience is just as important as the story itself. He can tell a story very ambiguously that doesn't give you a plot and an answer right away. It lets you create your own story around his interpretation of it, which I think is beautiful, and I don't think that I've seen it before.